Hey, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel where today we're hanging out in the dining room and giving it a summer refresh. Here we are, a nice blank slate. And in case you're new here, just a few little facts about the room. I recently painted below the chair rail that Sherwin-Williams retreat that ties in with the kitchen island that I painted the same color. A few years ago, I added the peel and stick murals. That's actually part of a really large mural that could cover your entire wall, but I only, you know, wanted to focus on the segment that had the tree. So the designer was kind enough to print a mirror image so that the trees face each other, satisfying my need for symmetry. Now I did add the shelves back and I know a lot of you don't like that. I totally get it. I may end up taking them down one day, but, but for now I just, I love having other places to accessorize. The mirror and sideboard are from an antique store in South Carolina, which of course I ended up painting. And the lamps are pretty much staples on the sideboard just because I like how they balance with the large mirror and the murals. The chandelier was a purchase we made a few years ago and I absolutely love it. I'm going to link it below because you are not gonna believe how inexpensive it was compared to the price tags I saw on others. It's such a great size and I love the way the crystals reflect on the walls when the sun hits it. And then this table was a gift from my sister several years ago. This is an indoor-outdoor rug, which I highly recommend under a table, even if you don't eat at said table. Over here we have a buffet that we've had for several years as well. In fact, it used to have a hutch on top that we eventually sold. I added the shelf there to tie in with the ones here, and I was so excited when I was on Etsy not too long ago and I came across this print. This is the mural that's on the other side of the room and you can see much more of the scene. So I love how that all ties together now. And then I added the sconces a few years ago as well. So that's what we're working with. And now I will start decorating. Now normally I start with the shelves and work my way around, but this time let's start with a sideboard. And here's what I'll be using. Faux florals and faux greenery. And I like how the leaves and the greenery Mimic those on the trees and the murals. This glass jug, blue and white towel, oversized candle holders, and my favorite battery operated candles, a simple white pitcher, and cake stand. Now let's do something with the shelves. And here's what I will be using on them. Tried and true pitchers, bowls and plates, a little bit of faux greenery and glasses. And I like using glass on the shelves because you can see right through it to the mural so it doesn't obstruct it too much. I know there's a lot of repetition here. Again, I am slightly addicted to symmetry and I admire all of you who are more asymmetrical Maybe one day I'll get there.
moving along, let's do something with the buffet and the shelf over here. This print's gonna stay only because it matches the murals. And I wanna keep it pretty casual. So let me show you what I'll be using. Starting over here, I have my tried and true soup tureen. These very dainty pitchers. I like how their design ties in with each other. And these little mini creamers. I have these containers that usually I have the lids off and I use them as planters, but I put the lids on and I'll use them like that this time. Just a little bit of blue. These were the only pieces I had left and I didn't feel like buying anything, so I'm just using what I have. Of course, glass, and that'll tie in with what I did on the shelves. Plates, of course. These pieces, which I had those out for spring, and this is actually garland that I just wrapped around to make it look like a wreath or wreaths. And then these little towels. So I can bring in a little bit of green and a little bit of blue. Last order of business is doing something with the table. Brought out the remaining pieces that I have on hand, including glasses, chargers, which I love these, they're plastic. These bowls, I like that lattice detail. These dainty plates, my blue and white pieces, napkins, and flatware. Just for fun, let's look at a couple of different ways that I could do the table. I could place that right in the middle and call it a day, keep it very simple. Or I could plank that with these candlesticks. Again, very simple. I could even take these little plates because I don't have a blue vase, I wish I did, but I don't and I don't wanna go shopping. I'm using what I have. I could even place the little plates under the candles for that tiny pop of blue. Now here's another option. For my asymmetrical friends, I could raise my granary up on this little stand that matches the one on the sideboard, and then just casually add in the glassware, plates, napkins, and flatware. I could even anchor this in a large, really pretty tray or on a cutting board. This allows you a more casual look uh, maybe if you're having a buffet or you don't want to have that look of a more formal tablescape. Now the option I think I'm gonna go with is this. First, I'll add a table runner. I used this in a different room for spring. Let's just ignore the wrinkles. Those will be covered up, I promise.
Next, I'm adding the chargers all the way around the table. And now classic white napkins. And then the white plates. Now I'm skipping over the head and the foot and I'll explain why in just a minute. Same goes for the smaller blue and white plates. I'm skipping over the head and the foot. And here's why. I only have four smaller blue and white plates. Because of that, I'm going to place these larger ones that tie in with the smaller ones at the head and the foot. I do this quite a bit and I think it gives your tablescapes a fun or even unexpected detail. And then to tie it all together, I'm placing a white bowl on top at each place setting. And finishing it off with flatware and wine glasses. For seating, I'm bringing back these crossback chairs, these Parson chairs with an added bit of blue and linen pillow, along with a casual bench. Now that I'm done, let's take a look around. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'll be back next week to continue decorating for summer. I hope you'll join me and I also hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.